Maybe you have a photo collection of your family and you want to make a slideshow. How you can make that in Premiere Pro? Yes, today we are going to learn that. So first you need to make a project in Adobe Premiere Pro as we do. So here I have made a project and before starting the project you need to modify some settings from the preference. Go to edit and then go to preference or if you are using Mac then go to Premiere then preference. And from here click on timeline. This one. Click here then this panel will appear and from here you need to change the video transition duration and still image default duration so here you can see the still image default duration have been set to 20 so if i use that what will happen let me show you suppose i want to use these photos i'm just clicking and dragging those photos here and now if i make a new sequence maybe this one and then if I drag any photo here, what is happening? It is extending till 20 seconds, right? You can see the duration of this still image is 20 seconds. It will not efficient if you want to make a slideshow, right? When you're making a slideshow, you need to change the image very frequently. Maybe you want to have a duration uh, 4 seconds or 5 seconds. So we need to change that. So what you have to do, go to edit, preference, then timeline, then change the default image default duration right this one so here i will put maybe four or five whatever you want i will put it four and then you need to change the transition default duration so here it has been set to four seconds so it is too long for my photos because the total duration of my photos is four seconds i want a transition duration that is less than four seconds i will put maybe one second or two second here uh, i think two second is great or 1.5 yeah i'll put 1.5 second and then click ok now if you click and drag it will not work if i show you if you click and drag any image it is not working right because you need to restart adobe premiere pro so let's close this project save it and then you can just close it you can exit adobe premiere pro and open the project that you have made now import the photos I'll make a new sequence I'll go to new item and from here I will make a new sequence and then I'll go to sequence preset and from here I will choose digital SLR this one and from 1080p I'll choose 1080p 24 frame right if you want to have a separate or different aspect ratio or resolution then you can change it from settings right here you can change the resolution size I'll just keep it as it is and then I will name it maybe slideshow then i will click here on this ok button this is my sequence now if i click and drag any image here you can see the duration is not 20 seconds anymore it is four seconds right if i play it back you can see the duration is four seconds so that is absolutely perfect for our slideshow right now let's bring all those images right if you click the first image then scroll down and press shift on your keyboard and then select the last one then you can just click and drag it here on your timeline and now if i play it back you'll see the photos have been imported on my timeline and it is playing but the image size is not perfect because my video resolution is 1920 to 1080p it is not filling up the whole space of my video or my timeline right so we need to fix that how you can fix that it is very easy select all the images then go to fx panel if you don't see go to window and then click here on this fx and then search for auto reframe then you will have a effect called auto reframe this one right click and drag this auto reframe on all of this image as we have selected all the images if i click and drag here it will be applied here on all images right and now if i play it back you can see the images have been resized perfectly so that is what we wanted now let's adjust the image if you want to adjust so here the image is not perfectly aligned so i will just select that then i'll go to effects control panel and from here i'll go to auto reframe and from here i will change the reframe offset this one if i click and drag it i can reframe it and now i can scale it maybe this much so if you found any image is not looking perfect for your scenario suppose this one it is not looking great for my photo i'll just resize it just like that Again, I will just check all of the images.
yeah great starting point it will play back the images but there is not any motion there isn't any transition there isn't any music right so we have to add some music we have to add some movement and transition here on those images how you can add movement you need to apply another effect which is transform go to effects panel and search for transform then you will have a effect called transform here on this distort folder click and drag this transform on one of your image i will apply on my first image this one just release it then go to effects control panel this one and scroll down you'll see transform effect have been applied right now we are going to animate the position and scale for these images using transform properties right go to at the beginning of your image then make a keyframe here on position and scale now go few frame ahead maybe this much and then you can just scale it up maybe a little bit 110 or 115 whatever you want i will put 115 great and now you have to click and drag this keyframe at the end of the image if i play it back you'll see there is a subtle movement on this video now you need to copy this transform effect on all of your images right select the first image and then select the transform effect you can just right click and you can click on copy or you can just press ctrl c i'll just click on copy then select all of the images and then press ctrl v on your keyboard perfect now if i play it back we have successfully added some movement on our video now it's time to add some transition on it right so to add transition you need to make a default transition first right how you can make default transition you need to go to effects panel then just click on cross here if you have searched something before now we have to go to video transition then whatever transition you want you have to select that for this kind of project for making any slideshow i generally use dissolve so i'll go to dissolve and right click here on this cross dissolve and then you can click here on set selected as default transition click here then this transition will be set as a default transition for your projects right now you can add default transition here on this images right how you can add that you have to select all of the images then you have to press shift and d to apply the default transition now if i play it back you'll see there is a transition going on in between the images yeah it is looking perfect right now the last step which is adding some music so just download any music that you want to use with your uh, slideshow i have already downloaded a music i'll just click and drag it here on the timeline and then i'll play it back so that's it that is how you can make slideshow in adobe premiere pro very easily but there is a quicker way to do that so to do it in a quicker way you need to make a preset so we have already made the slideshow now we can make a preset out of it to make a preset you need to go to here on this effects control panel and then scroll down and select auto reframe this one and then press ctrl or command on your keyboard and select transform now these both effects have been selected now you can just right click here then click here save preset you can name it as slideshow and then click ok right now if i delete all of these images i can just quickly import the images here on the timeline just like that and now i can select all of the image i have to go to effects panel then i have to go to my preset folder this one and from here i need to search for slideshow that we have made earlier right this one just click and drag this preset on top of your images and see and see the slideshow has been completed so it is a much faster way to do that just make a preset to save some time right and now the last two step is adding a music you can just click and drag a music here and then you have to select all of the images and press shift d to apply the default transition now if i play it back yeah our slideshow have been completed so that's it that is how we can make slideshow in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one 
then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye